Hey, this is Class Creatives, and in this video, we'll discuss how Disney Animation's Moana series uses Autodesk Maya to produce award winning animations for its most recent sequel. Many of our students are curious about the software and techniques that were used to bring these cutting edge animations to life for the highly anticipated franchise, which is making a comeback in its most recent chapter. Moana's latest trailer is looking very promising and picking up where the previous 2016's animated feature left off. In this video, we'll discuss how the award-winning animations were made with Maya Autodesk, paired with state-of-the-art tools, integrating hand-drawn graphic elements to enhance the 3D characters, how live-action reference footage is used to inspire original acting choices, and the keyframe animation process. Shots and animated features often start with story ideas, which are then boarded out with comedic and critical moments highlighted for the animators to convey. Layout is then created by artists to bring these 2D ideas to 3D with environments, camera animation, and basic character animation. Animators will then take the layout shot and adjust the camera to heighten the acting and enhance the character seen in the shots. Sometimes additional background characters are still in production and in this case, duplicated rigs were used to represent the additional necessary background characters in the shot. Sometimes spheres are used to block in timing quickly versus trying to pose a complex character rig. Taking liberties to enhance the shot, like duplicating rigs and modifying them for background characters, were applied in this shot to bring these comedic shots to life in early production. Once animation is finaled, it's sent to the Tech Anim team for cloth, hair, feathers, and necklace details. It's a great example of how shots can come together organically through the creativity of the animator and the talents of other departments. The final visual team to touch the shot is the lighting department, which renders everything together to keep the look of all shots consistent. Another typical workflow that helps layout and animators is an animation cycle library for characters. This helps keep characters on model when moving and saves production time to have a base to start from and bring characters to the scene with movement quickly. So oftentimes early in production cycles are created for this purpose. It also aids in developing the personality of the characters. We can see the difference in characters' personality simply based on their animated walk cycle. For Maui's tattoo animation, the legendary Eric Goldberg, who brought the genie to life in Aladdin, animated the 2D character on the 3D animated character. It's always fun to see how 2D animation can be mixed with 3D assets to add some extra life to scenes. Like many other cinematics and feature films, animators acted out their performances in front of the camera to choose the best acting choices to animate their shots. It's not uncommon for animators to act out their performances to try and rough in movements and get animation director approval prior to animating the characters. This helps acting be believable in not just timing but crafting solid performances that might not have been thought of by the animator if not acted out in front of the camera. Sometimes less is more when it comes to acting, and over animating can deter genuine acting moments similar to live action acting. Interacting with props, sets, and complicated shots like characters interacting will all have much more realistic timing and weight when animated with video reference. Even the most skilled and veteran animators utilize video reference to create genuine acting performances. For this shot, the animator studied YouTube footage and viral videos of people getting punched in the face so that they could understand the physics involved. Details of how the body, head, and torso react based on impact were crucial for the comical bit to read correctly. Acting out the shot will also aid the animator in subtle acting choices in the face and strong body mechanics to animate from for the shot. The animator wanted to capture how Moana could not quite do the dance right and how to follow Tala's graceful lead. So the animator had to capture Tala feeling old yet graceful in the shot. And some animators even brought in their own kids to act out some video reference for shots involving young Moana. For complex shots involving props such as a rope, video reference plays a crucial part to capturing believable body mechanics. Communication with the tech art team and the animator also is critical to get seamless simulation between the character animation and the simulated props. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. They offer a top ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Learn the entire process of animation and motion capture using Autodesk Maya by following the methods used to create Moana's animation. The full AAA animation workflow is explained in detail in their masterclass courses. Learn professional workflows such as 3D character modeling, utilizing industry standard software such as ZBrush, Autodesk Maya, and Substance Painter. 
The entire character design workflow is covered from start to finish in their masterclass offerings. Extensive character rigging courses teach the process of how to custom rig characters for all of your project needs. Land that new job, receive higher pay, and stand out from the competition. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. Disney animators often create pre-production tests to explore character personalities and movements. Sometimes these tests even become promotional materials for the movie. Some just remain unseen tests that just aid other artists internally or help directors see what could be possible. Early test versions of Hey Hey portrayed him as an angry and aggressive rooster, with the goal to contrast his crankiness with Pua's innocence, trying to create comedic moments between them. The test visually helped determine which would be the most entertaining ways to convey the characters and create the most memorable moments for the audience. Sometimes in production, shots are animated and directors change their minds on character personalities. And in this case, Hey Hey was originally an angry character, which was then reworked to be more of a quirky, goofy, comedic character. It's always interesting to see how characters change during production and how animators and artists adjust to these demands during the heat of production. Tests were created between Pua and Hei Hei for not only entertainment purposes, but to develop character personalities. Playing off contrasting personality types is a great animation technique to keep entertainment high while also creating contrast in the animation which heightens viewers' attachment to characters in the movie. Some shots have variations of shots for the directors to choose from, and even though an animator might have a preference for one version over the other, Ultimately, the directors make the final call on what goes in the final version of the movie. For more imaginative, non-traditional characters such as the Kakamura, tests were created to see how they would move as a group. The goal was to also make their individual performances interesting as they move together. The tests confirm that the characters look best when they are animated with high energy and favoring an up trajectory, their lines of action favoring jumps while throwing spears with long hang times and always having them bounce and not roll. They deduced that rolling was a bit too passive, so you'll never see them rolling in shots. Animated tests can result in hero characters. Such was the case for the short Gone Fishing, which was a Moana short that was going to be the trailer for the movie. Tess of the character fish, Bill, was initially a background fish who never was intended to be the main character until an idea for the trailer was pitched. He was initially not rigged for animation other than for background swimming motions. However, the animator added some blend shapes and contact deformers for a shot when he was sliding into Maui's mouth. These tests have a lot of value in production and the abilities of the animators lend so much to creating these entertaining moments and memorable characters. Characters such as Tamatoa were oftentimes animated from the video reference of the professional actors' video recordings as they recorded their lines. I would gladly talk about myself. Do you mind if I do it in song form? Now I know I can be happy as a clam Because I'm beautiful, baby The element of water plays a huge role in the universe and story of Moana. Very early in production, tests were necessary to test the capabilities of the anthropomorphic ocean character. Animators created numerous tests to figure out how to make water emote. Tests such as the water waving were created to show the directors ideas on how the ocean could emote and a water rig internally dubbed Gretchen was created to animate the water interacting with baby Moana. These key poses of the water rig were then handed off to the visual effects team to finalize the critical storytelling moment. Similar approaches were made for other shots involving water using basic geometric shapes to block in movements before final effects are created around the blocked in movements. Toddler reference and storyboards were created to capture the genuine acting movements of Baby Moana. Look tests were created to target development of the look of the effect as well as how it could enhance character development moments in the movie. For the original trailer, shots were combined together to animate Moana and an animated fish for a final composition. As with many trailers and animated shots, unused ideas for animated character acting were left on the cutting floor unused. Maui's transformations included a lot of interesting ideas to convey his abilities to become other animals. It required a tight level of communication between the animator to the visual effects team to bring the transitions to life seamlessly. Transitions need to be quick, convincing, and entertaining to the viewer. A lot of the charm from Moana was the musical moments that were animated by the artists, with the directors choosing which songs would have the most impact during critical storytelling moments. While developing Maui, tests were created to try and capture his personality. For complex shots with multiple characters on the screen, 
Animators have to consider what the focus of the shot will be and when too many movements can start to become a distraction. Making sure you have clear poses is critical for these types of shots. In this sequence, a gear change was critical for Moana to change her mood from being bored to then overwhelmed by excitement from her fellow villagers. For action sequences and overall shot planning, 2D storyboarding was used for the planning stages prior to animation. This helps the animator plan out key poses and rough out timing. It's common to utilize a mix of 2D storyboards for shot and pose planning, and live action video reference to craft realistic poses and enhance the acting of each shot. Even with storyboarding and rough animation, some shots are even broken into two sections shared between two animators for the final shot. It's not uncommon for directors to change their minds on shot angles and acting choices as the shot progresses to heighten storytelling and character staging. 2D can be used for many aspects from initial blocking and pushing poses based on initial 3D blocking. With complex shots such as these which involve water effects, body mechanics conveying weight, and interacting with the rope, tight communication was necessary between the animator, tech anim, and lighting teams to get the shot to look its best. Some animators prefer to roughly draw poses to visually test timing before they dedicate time to crafting poses in 3D. This is a personal preference and the workflow can vary from animator to animator. Some shots can require over a dozen artists to finalize, from thumbnails, storyboarding, animation, technical animation, effects, and lighting. It's not uncommon for short two second shots such as this one to require several artists working together to bring it to life. Well that about wraps up this video on how Disney's Moana series utilizes Autodesk Maya and why it's an important integral piece to the feature film animation creation process. All departments work together to bring something new to the film. The combination of video reference, mixing 2D and 3D shots, and advancements in visual effects help create one of Disney's most watched franchises to life. The newest entry in the series looks better than ever. Will you be watching in theaters on release day? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect!